The Agkoi Yunlu or Akko Yunlu, also called the White Sheep Turk Omens, was a Sunni Azerbaijani Ohuz Turkic tribal federation that ruled present-day Azerbaijan, Armenia, eastern Turkey, part of Iran, and northern Iraq from 1378 to 1501. History According to chronicles from the Byzantine Empire, the Agkoi Yunlu were first attested in the district of Baybert south of the Pontic Mountains from at least 1340s, and most of their leaders, including the dynasty's founder, Azerbaijani Turk, Kara Osman, married Byzantine princesses. The Akko Yunlu Turk Omans first acquired land in 1402, when Timur granted them all of Diyarbakir in present-day Turkey. For a long time, the Akko Yunlu were unable to expand their territory, as the rival Karako Yunlu or Black Sheep Turk Omans kept them at bay. However, this changed with the rule of Uzun Hasan, who defeated the Black Sheep Turk Oman leader Jahan Shah in 1467. After the defeat of a Timurid leader, Abu Said, Uzun Hasan was able to take Baghdad along with territories around the Persian Gulf. He expanded into Iran as far east as Khorasan. However, around this time, the Ottoman Empire sought to expand eastwards, a serious threat that forced the Akko Yunlu into an alliance with the Karamanids of central Anatolia. As early as 1464, Uzun Hasan had requested military aid from one of the Ottoman Empire's strongest enemies, Venice. However, despite Venetian promises, this aid never arrived, and as a result, Uzun Hasan was defeated by the Ottomans at the Battle of Otluk Beli in 1473. Though this did not destroy the Akko Yunlu, when Uzun Hasan died early in 1478, he was succeeded by his son Kalil Mirza, but the latter was defeated by a confederation under his younger brother Yagub at the Battle of Khoi in July. Yagub, who reigned from 1478 to 1490, sustained the dynasty for a while longer. However, during the first four years of his reign there were seven pretenders to the throne who had to be put down. Following Yagub's death, civil war again erupted. The Akko Yunlis destroyed themselves from within, and they ceased to be a threat to their neighbors. The Safavids, who were Shi'i Muslims, began to undermine the allegiance of many Akko Yunlu. The Safavids and the Akko Yunlu met in battle at Nakshivan in 1501, and the Safavid leader Ishmael I forced the Akko Yunlu to withdraw. In his retreat from the Safavids, the Akko Yunlu leader Alwan destroyed an autonomous splinter Akko Yunlu state in Mardin. The last Akko Yunlu leader, Murad, brother of Alwan, was also defeated by the same Safavid leader. Though Murad briefly established himself in Baghdad in 1501, he soon withdrew back to Diyarbakir, signaling the end of the Akko Yunlu rule. Governance The leaders of Akko Yunlu were from the Bagandur or Bayandur Ohuz clan and were considered descendants of the semi-mythical founding father of the Ohuz, Ohuz Khan. The Bayanjors behaved like statesmen rather than warlords and gained the support of the merchant and feudal classes of South Caucasus. With the conquest of Iran, not only did the Akko Yunlu center of power shift eastward, but Iranian influences were soon brought to bear on their method of government and their culture. In the Iranian provinces Uz and Hassan maintained the pre-existing administrative system along with its officials whose families had in some cases served under different dynasties for several generations. There were only four top civil posts, all held by Iranians, in Uz and Hassan's time. Those of the vizier, who headed the Great Council, the Most Orfi al-Mamalek, who was in charge of the financial administration, the Mordar who affixed the state seal, and the Marikur, stable master, who looked after the royal court. In letters from the Ottoman sultans, when addressing the kings of Akko Yunlu, such titles as Arabic, King of Iranian Kings, Arabic, 
Sultan of Iranian Sultans, Persian, Shahanshari Iran Qadi Vyajam, Shahanshar of Iran and ruler of Persia, Jamshid Shawkat Virginia for Idun Rayat Virginia Dara D. Rayat, powerful like Jamshid, flag of Fur Idun and wise like Darius, have been used. Uz and Hassan also held the title Padashah Iran, Padashah of Iran, which was re-adopted again in the Safavid times through his distaff grandson Ishmael I, the founder of the Safavid dynasty. At Koyun Luamed Bey, amidst the struggle for power between Uz and Hassan's grandsons Bey Sunga and Rustam, their cousin Ahmed Bey appeared on the stage. Ahmed Bey was the son of Uz and Hassan's eldest son Agalu Muhammad, who, in 1475, escaped to Ottoman Turkey. Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II received Ugalu Muhammad with kindness and gave him his daughter, of whom Ahmed Bey was born, according to Hassan Ramluza San al Tavariq. In 1496-7 a certain Hassan Ali Tarkani went to Ottoman Turkey to tell Sultan Bayezid II that Azerbaijan and Persian Iraq were defenseless and suggested that Ahmed Bey, heir to that kingdom, should be sent there with Ottoman troops. Bayezid agreed to this idea, and by May 1497 Ahmed Bey faced Rustam near Araxes and defeated him.